Yeah, in this video, we will see how to find duplicates in a string if any alphabets are repeating. So we have already seen the same thing in the previous video. We have learned two methods. Now the third method that is using bits. So in this video, we will learn how we can perform the same thing using bits. And this method is not just for a string, but it is useful for integer numbers also, but it is more favorable for a string. So let us see this method. So for learning this method, we should have some concepts with us. So let us revise those concepts. Then we will find the duplicate elements in a string. See, the concepts that we should know is bitwise operations. What bitwise operations we should know? Left shift and bits oring, which is also called as merging, and bits anding, which is also called as masking. So we should know these things. Then we will see how to find duplicates. So let me explain you about all these things one by one. So here is a byte. See, for understanding bitwise operation, we should know how the data is stored in the memory in the form of bits. So for understanding that, I have taken just one byte. So it is sufficient to understand by using just one byte. Suppose I have a variable which is taking only one byte. Let us say character type variable. So I'm calling that variable as h and it is taking one byte. So one byte is eight bits. 8 bits makes a byte. So I have taken 8 bits and this is called as least significant bit and this is most significant bit. Means this is a 0. Usually in an array we start indexing from 0, 1, 2, 3 onwards. That is we go from left to right. But this is indexed from 0 to 7 on this side. We started from right hand side. So this is least significant bit and this is most significant bit. Now how any number is stored is stored in the form of binary zeros and ones. So for this, you should be knowing binary number system. I'm not going to explain you binary number system. Now we will understand bitwise operations. So for that, let us assume this H is initially zero. Say H is zero. If I declare a variable of type character and say H assign zero, then zero will be stored. So how zero is stored? All these will be zeros. Yes, all these will be zeros. Then if suppose if I store one, then this will be one. So how it looks like in the memory 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. If I read it from left hand side, because we usually read from left hand side. So this is 0, 0, 0, all zeros, then last one. Then if I store two here, then binary form of two is one, zero. So this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Yes. Then if I store 4, then the binary form of 4 is 100. Zero, zero. So this will be 100. Zero, zero. If it is 5, then the binary form is 101. So it will 101. One. Let us make it back as 4 only. Now next, I will skip 6 and 7. Let us take 8. If it is 8, then binary form of 8 is 100. Zero, zero, three zeros. So this looks like this. So this means that this binary bits represent 1 and this represents 2 then this represents 4 and this is 8 double it is getting doubled every time right 16 32 this is 64 and this is 128. So yes this is how the binary value of each digit right. So if suppose we want to store 10 then 8 and 2 these two will be 1 1 right this becomes 10. Just we want 8, then this is 1 and all are zeros. Right? Suppose we want to store 20. This 16 will be 1. So nearest number is 16, right? 32 will be greater than 20. So nearest number is 16. Then what is remaining? 4. So this one. So these two will be 1. So it will become 20 in the binary form, binary number system. Right? If only this bit is on means 16. So we have seen how binary form of a number is stored in the memory right now next we will see what does it mean by shift operation so i'll remove this and explain you see right now h is having 0, 0, 0, 1. so right now h is one okay now let us see what does it mean by shift h left shift one and the result in h only right so whatever the value of h is see here is one but or whatever the bits are one whatever it may be all bits will shift by one place on the left hand side if you mention one 
all bits. So we have all bits as zero only that one is there. So it moved by one place. So this one comes here. Then this place will be vacant. No, this will be filled with zero. If the bits are shifting on this side, then you get some blank bits here. So that will be set as zeros, right? Now what is this number? It has become two. Yes. Then let us put it back this as one only and this as zero now if i left shift by two places h left shift by two places so this will be shifted by two places one two so that one comes here then this is zero so now how much it is four so as i said left shift and the result store in h means this h will modify and it will become four so only this operation will not modify h right we have to store it now it means by shifting the number on the left hand side we are able to increase it multiples of 2 and also the digit is shifting right suppose here I say h left shift by 5 right now it is 1 here right by 5 places so 1 2 3 4 5 so it will come here so what is the number now see these are all zeros only this is 1 so this is 32 right so we can shift the digits so we can shift all the digits but we are interested in only one digit that is one so we are looking at it through an example one so i have explained you shifting now i will explain you and and oring so first let us see anding then i'll explain you oring so for explaining and i have taken an example i have taken two variables here two variables a is a 10 and b is a 6 so I have taken just four, four digits of those number because these rest of the digits on this side are zeros only. If I write all eight bits also, they are all zeros. So I am showing only the useful bits, right? So these are the last four bit and these are the last four bits. So it is just like 1010 for A and for B, it is 110. So I have used this one also because that makes four, four bits from each side. Now what is AND? If I say A and b then bits are anded zero and zero means false and false is false only one and one means true and true yes true only so zero and one means false and true is false then one and zero means true and false is false see you may be knowing this if you have a b and you are performing and so this is one one is one and one zero is zero and 0 1 is also 0 0 and 0 is also 0 so when you perform and operation then this is the result so but we are performing not logical and we are performing bitwise and single ampersand so the anding will be done upon the bits of numbers bits in the memory so what is the result we got this is binary form of 2 so it means 10 and 6 is 2 10 and 6 is 2 so this is and operation next I'll show you or operation then we'll move ahead let us see or operation see same number I'll remove this now instead of anding we are performing or operations on a bit then or means what 0 or 0 0 only 1 or 1 1 0 or 1 is also 1 1 or 0 is also 1 then how much this is this is 14 in the decimal number binary form it is 1110 and it is 14 in decimal number system see this is oring oring means what 1 or 1 is 1 1 or 0 is also 1 and 0 or 1 is also 1 0 or 0 is 0 so if any one of the bit is 1 then it is 1 so that's what we have performed here and 10 or 6 is 14 so this is interesting bitwise operations now let us understand what does it mean by merging and masking this i have explained you and and or operations now merging and masking i will explain you now let us understand masking see for explaining masking i have a variable h of one byte size and the value in that one is 16 so one is present here so it is 16 all are zeros then i have another variable a in which everything is zeros right now I want to know whether inside H inside H this bit is on or not one two three this bit 
is it on or not i just want to know that so that means third bit third least significant bit so from here three places so i will find out whether this is on or not right now it is off right so how to now for explaining masking i have taken two variables h h is having all zeros except this one so the value inside that is 16 so this is one byte long right so h is having value 16 then there is one more variable a and it is having zero now what does it mean by masking see i want to know whether at this place that is bit 2 0 1 2 right at this bit is it 1 or 0 i want to find out that right how to find out inside h i want to know whether this bit is on or not that is 0 1 2 second bit or if i count 1 2 3 third bit so let us call this 2 i want to know whether that bit 2 is on or not so how to know that so i will take the help of a so inside a i will write down 1 so this is a assign 1 then i want to check this one right so 1 2 3 1 2 3 that is 2 least significant bit 2 so move this one two times so left shift a by two places so this one will move here then move here so it will move here and it will become zero now we have a with one moved by two places so what is the value in a now it is four value in a is four so remember i have to show you these right so this is four this is 16 it is 16 here and it is four here now how to know whether this bit is on or not in this one perform ending if you perform ending then zero zero is zero this is also zero this is also zero this is also zero this is also zero all are zeros only so if you got a zero means bit is off if you got non-zero value means bit is on so by performing and between a and h i can know whether that bit is on or not so knowing a particular bit inside a memory whether it's on and off is called as masking now let us do it for this bit see already this bit is on let us check for this one so first of all set a as one okay a as one so this is at which place fourth place so move this by four places so it will move one by four places left shift one two three four so it will move here one will move here actually all zeros also will move here right it's not crossing over this one see it is just like this when we are shifting means this zero comes here this zero comes here this zero comes here this zero comes here and so on and one will also move like that it will happen four times all right so this zero is here now and these are all new zeros that came there so it is left shifted and it is here now if i perform a and h i'll get true yes this is true so it means that bit is on that's perfect now next thing i'll show what is